Randy Berry, we're here once again with, with Plaza de Armas and now Cast SA. And right now I'm talking with Choco, Gal Choco Meza, who has been a strong uh, Democratic stalwart here in Bear County, um, gone through a lot of the elections. How far back do you go with Bear County with Democratic elections here? You Don't age me. Don't <laughs> age you. Okay. I have been enjoying my entire adult life working in elections here in San Antonio throughout Texas and even nationally. So I've been a big supporter of the Democratic Party. I have reason to be. This party has stood for all the right issues uh, that benefit this community, and we have excellent Democratic leaders here in Bear County, and we need to continue growing it because this state should be a blue state. And so tonight we're, we're looking at some of the election results, and you know, in, in 2010 we had kind of a challenge with some of the, the judges. You know, we lost a lot of judge, judge seats and things like that but we're starting to see some more. So can you talk a little bit about what you've seen so far? Well, what I can say is that what we saw two years ago was not just particular to Texas. It happened nationally, and it happened in 22 states. But we have uh, re retrofitted ourselves as a political party, and we have turned around, and uh, we have excellent candidates. And then we have some elected officials that are not just sitting back and watching elections happen when they're not up for elections. They themselves are engaged in making sure that other good Democrats get elected into office. So we're seeing some judges tonight taking the lead, and some are slightly behind, and some are a little more behind, but the fact of the matter is that you're not gonna see the same tsunami, and I don't think we'll ever see it again, and it'll, every election every two years is just gonna get better till we have a Democratic governor. Can you tell us some of the judges that you see are looking positive tonight? Well, I'm very impressed with the results right now for Larry Knoll and for Karen Poza. They are excellent judges, deserve to be uh, continue doing their work on the bench. There are some new candidates like Rebecca Martinez, who is slightly uh, in the sleet on the lead. Uh, we have a couple of other judges that I think I saw that were ahead or right at the cusp of Michael, of the, being one of Michael those. Mary, who's a former judge and, and looks like he's in a comfortable little lead. Uh, so I'm really happy to see that. I'm happy to see, in particular, in the legislative seats, that Philip Cortez is taking a lead in every. Every time we check the computer, it just keeps growing. I love your hat and there. Yeah, Cortez it's kind of a it. Philip Cortez <laughs> hat, hat. But I think what it does, it, it speaks volumes to the community who understands who the Democratic Party is and what the party can do for them as a community and why we need leaders like Philip Cortez uh, to be in the legislature and, and advocating for us. Okay. So uh, to go a little further along these lines, as we also, I was looking at some of the other results. It looks like even though Sadler may be down in the state, he's holding very tight here in the he's county. He's doing real well here. And even though he's uh, behind statewide, it's early. And it's, I think, a lot better than what a lot of people thought. And I hope that the state of Texas recognizes the value of someone like Sattler and the lack of value that a Ted Cruz would bring to the state. Okay. Now, we, we also just came from the mayor's pre-K party and the, the, the watching over there. It looks like it's ahead. So yeah. what's some thoughts about that? that you might I have? am really excited about the pre-K. Uh, I think the mayor has taken positions and initiatives that will benefit the community. Sometimes they're not popular and sometimes people don't understand why. But I think they put together a campaign where they educated the community or informed the community on the benefits of that initiative. The way I looked at it, a stack of pancakes and a cup of coffee costs more than what you're investing on a four-year-old and we need to develop the intellectual development of children here. Okay, great. Thank you so much for talking Thank to you. us. Thank you and, and uh, I really hope that tonight will end up blue, very blue, democratic blue. That's